other trees are selected from all over Vanuatu, analysed for oil yield, and those with the highest oil yield were the ones that were grafted into an archive. These ones now are being multiplied to be able to send them out to the villagers so that when the villagers have their own seed source, they're only planting high quality sandalwood, not rubbish. My job here is to teach the locals how to graft, and it's a simple technique. It's a top cleft graft. It's straightforward, and I emphasize safety in what I'm doing because I think it's uh, very important that uh, people don't injure themselves so they can continue on and be productive. And I teach them how to do the graft. It's uh, straightforward to splitting the stem down the middle. You make a wedge and then you insert the wedge into the top of the split and you make sure that the materials, the cambiums on the side are matched and this is important, very important part. And then uh, how to bind them tightly together, excluding air and then you seal it, put a little hothouse plastic bag over the top, and that's it. It's a simple process that can be done anywhere. All they need is a bit of budding tape, a sharp knife, which we hand out to people and a good secateurs, and it's a very straightforward process. I just use methylated spirits as a simple process. You wipe the blade, I like wiping mine, I do my secateurs with it, and I do the palms of my hand, because you have salts and lipid fats on your hand, and if they touch any part of the cut surface, you're doomed to failure with your grass, so you make sure everything's clean and sterile. If you want to do something like grafting, you're using very sharp implements and I want to make sure that no one cuts themselves. When you're grafting, you hold the knife if you're right-handed, you hold it in your hand that way, close your hand up and it's like that with only a small amount of blade exposed. 